Hello and welcome to the Radio Silly Video News. Sign up to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Radio Silly for updates on what's happening around the islands and video reports featuring the people and places you know. Our video report is brought to you in association with Truro and Penwith College. Sign up to the Silly Lottery and you've a 1 in 2,000 chance of winning £1,000. You can play if you live on the mainland. It helps keep Radio Silly on air and funds good causes around the islands. Read more at sillylottery.com. The Silly Lottery. The Silly Lottery.com. Council staff are staying positive about the future for key projects in Scilly in the light of significant government cutbacks announced this week. Many projects in the islands have been assisted or funded by the Regional Development Agency. Some of those bodies in the southeast are facing the axe, and other ones, including ours, serving the southwest, are facing 20% budget cutbacks. The Porthcresser Regeneration Scheme is one of the projects connected to the RDA. Diana Monpoloki from the Town Hall, though, says that she believes that the funding should be safe. The RDA is also responsible for managing the European Regional Development Fund, which is 458 million euros for Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. That's the funding that we, were, hope, we hope to access for Porth Cressa and for St Agnes. Obviously, we were looking to get some RDA funding to match the European Regional Development Fund. That's looking more and more unlikely but there are ways we can structure the project so that they can still go ahead without that regional development funding because it was quite a small element. And Diana believes that the funding for the business facility on St Agnes should also go ahead because it's not so reliant on RDA cash. I think we're all in an uncertain time. I think all funding is at risk. European funding should be safe and that's the bulk of the Porth Cressa money and the St Agnes money. It just means we have to look at the project slightly differently and rather than using RDA money, use the land as match for example. South West RDA is one of the smallest regional development agencies and that's funded an awful lot of good things in Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly that people will be aware of. Things in the Isles of Scilly like the Phoenix Art Studio through Rural Renaissance but also projects such as Wave Hub projects such as the Combined Universities of Cornwall. Penwith College was built with £4 million worth of regional development agency funding.